So this tutorial, what we're going to do is show you how you can um, add, edit, change, delete uh, events in your Google Calendar. What you do is go to uh, justgoogle.com, and this is to, to start you out on how to sign up for Google, and then how you can use the calendar to, to sign in each time. But once you go to google.com, you don't have to have a Gmail account. Um, just go over to uh, sign in, and whether you have an account or not, just go to sign in. And then if you have an account, you can go ahead and log in here. If you don't, just go to sign up. And this is where you would just put uh, your, your, all your information, that sort of thing. And this is where you would put your email address um, to keep with your account if you don't have a Gmail, which is fine. So that's how you sign up. So I'm, since once you already have your account, go back to sign in. I'm just going to put in my information here. Okay, now what you would do is go to, uh, up at the top, just go to calendar. And now what you're going to see over here on this bar list is all my calendars. I'm just going to hide all of my calendars. Okay. So now over here on the left hand side it says Camp New Hope and it's highlighted and it's showing that it has an orange dot. So that means all my Camp New Hope events are going to be colored orange. And so since there's nothing in April, I'm just going to click this button because I'm in April. I'm just going to click it May and then June and here's where we get to the camps. Um, so how you would create an event would be go right over here to the create button and you just, you just click it once and it says what do you want to add. So say if I want to add a summer camp with a theme of superheroes, I would just type in, all of this you can edit later, but I would just type in summer camp uh, superheroes. And then I would click add. Now it brings me up to the details. Um, this is going to say what date is it and then what time do I want it to start from. And then what date, what time do I want it to end and what date do I want it to end. Um, and so this would be spe specifically, right now it's saying from April 5th, the event is from 8.30 to 9.30 on April 5th. Um, what I did for the summer camp ones, and what you would want to do, April 12th, it's going to be a week long. And then right under here, you could do event details. Um, we could put uh, where it's going to be, so it's going to be at Camp New Hope. This would be what calendar, if you had multiple camps calendars and then this would be where you would put your description is if you wanted details for that if somebody clicks on it in the calendar you could give them details so uh, this is the description of the event so we could put uh, we are uh, going to have a blast at all of our activities um, and then this is saying it's available, privacy, there's no privacy on it, those sort of things. And then I could just hit save. And I go back to April and you can see there it is, Summer Camp Superheroes. So if I wanted to edit it, I would just click it once. It would show me some quick details and then I could just go to Edit Event. And then I could just come in, I could change the dates of it. I want it to go from the 12th through the 19th. Um, all those sorts of things you can just get in and, and edit and change those really quick. One of the other great features is, say there's a um, there's a meeting that's every Monday, so Monday the 9th, and it's at 10 a.m. and it lasts until 11 a.m. of the same exact day. So this is a meeting on April 9th, 10 a.m., goes to 11 a.m., on the same day. One great feature that they have is called repeat, where if that's the same event that happens every week, every Monday, so I could say every Monday at 10 to 11 we have this event. So it can, it's going to repeat weekly. How many times do I want it to repeat? Well, it's going to happen four times in a row. So I'm going to put repeat four times in a row. It's repeating on, it's repeating on that Monday. Or you could say it's repeating on Monday and Tuesday is those meetings. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is those activities. We're going to tell when is it going to start and when does it end. Well, I want it to end um, 
I want it to end yeah, on August 27th. So the event's going to be weekly, every week, Monday, starting on the 9th, and end on the 27th of August. And I'm just going to hit Done. And I'm just going to hit Save here. So you can see our, super camp, our superhero camp was moved to Monday, April the 9th, 10 a.m., and it automatically repeated until August the 27th. And then after that, you can see that it stopped. Uh, but this is an easy way that you could create um, and edit the calendar. Um, so And it will automatically update on the website. And then when you're done, just go over here. So there should be an icon by your name. If you just hit that, and then you can hit sign out.